Big run on that play, 45 yards for number 21, Brendan Hudzik. Spot the ball at the 48-yard line of the Cougars. First down for the Jaguars. They're needing to get back into this football game. Under center, single back set. It's got two wideouts on the near side, one to the far side. They run a reverse. Comes here to the near side. It's got some open field. Gets to the 50, 45. And he'll get dragged down from behind by guess who? Nope, that's number 25 for the Cougars making the stop. That's going to be Joshua Johnson, number seven on the carry for the Jaguars. That's Nathan Preseda. But a good run nonetheless. We'll take the ball down to the 40-yard line of the Cougars. Second down. High formation. Single wide out here at the near side. Under center as the quarterback takes a snap. Fumble on the play. He's got a drop on it. Saul Puente, the quarterback for the Jaguars dropping on the ball to secure it. It'll bring up third down. And we got a penalty flag also. A false start called against the Jaguars. So it'll remain second down. They'll spot the ball now at the 44 yard line of the Cougars. So actually, that was a, a bailed out play. There's the snap. Quarterback keeper rolls out here to the near side, looks to break free, and he's not as he gets taken down. Number 11 for the Cougars, that's going to be Dayton Roth on the stop. Justin, or correction, Saul Puente, the quarterback number four for the Jaguars on the run. center, eye formation, takes the snap, hands off to his tailback, number seven, he'll go off, tackle to the far side, breaks tackles, breaking free and he'll get close to a first down, he'll get the first down as he'll take it to about the 36 and it'll be good for a first down again, number seven on the carry for the Jaguars, that's Nathan Perseda as he'll keep the drive alive for the Jaguars Under center, takes a snap, hands it off again. And Perseda, and this time, number three comes diving in. That's Ja'Cory Hastings for the Cougars, making the stop. Lose about a yard, actually a couple yards on the play to bring up second and 12. Currently 89 degrees here in Civilona. Timeout called by the Jaguars. We'll step away and take that timeout as well. Keep it here. We'll be right back here on Typer Radio. GTM Sportswear. GTM Sportswear. Look like a team, train like a team. GTM Sportswear can outfit your entire team with custom jerseys, uniforms with amazing new sublimations to choose from, warm-ups, and much, much more. Get your team practice wear with up to 20% off. They even have great fan apparel for that team spirit look. GTM Sportswear is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association. Need uniforms for your cheerleaders? They got those too. Get some of the best prices on all apparel with their amazing partnership with Typha. Just go to gtmsportswear.com and get outfitted for the season. Once again, that's gtmsportswear.com. Or call Melanie Miller at 785-249-5343 for more information. GTM Sportswear. Love what you do, wear what you love. And welcome back. Second down play coming up here. Second and... Now they kind of adjusted it here, so I'm going to call it second and 11. Yeah. 
Jaguars with the football. Under center, I formation. Takes a snap, hands it off to his tailback. Number seven. And he'll get dragged down, no gain on that play. That's going to bring up third down. He'll give him like a quarter of a yard on the gain. As the stick moves just a little bit, still third and 11. Nathan Preseda getting the majority of the carries here for the Jaguars. 14-0 is our score. Cougars with the lead. Jaguars with the football. Takes the snap. Quarterback keeper looking for some opening. And a big hit coming in like a missile. The number 18 or 19? 19? Number 19, that is going to be Isaac Sines making the stop for the Cougars. That's going to bring up fourth down. Loss of a couple yards on that, so about fourth and 13. <laughs> Takes a snap, they'll pitch it. Comes out here to the near side, looking to throw, and he's gonna get sacked. As number three, Justin Ticelli received the pitch, was looking to uh, make a pass, but uh, number 21, Brendan Hudzik, coming in and making the stop. Turnover on downs, first down for the Cougars. They'll have the football at their own 46 yard line. Under center, takes a snap, hands it off, comes here to the near sidelines, look for a break. Hudzik with the football, number 21, and he'll dance out of bounds just over the 45 to about the 44-yard line of the Jaguars, and that'll be good for a first down for the Cougars. Brendan Hudzik with the carry, about an 11-yard gain. Actually about 12. Takes a snap. Quarterback keeper comes here to the near sideline, number 14. He'll get to the 40-yard line before he's driven out of bounds. Gain of about three yards on that play to bring up second and seven. Derek Zertucci on that carry. Number 14. I formation slot back here to the near sideline. Takes a snap. Hands it off to the fullback and get maybe a yard on the play. That's about it. 43 on the carry for the Cougars that time. Damian Garcia. Third down here for the Cougars. They lead 14-0. Takes a snap. Fakes the pitch, looking the pass, he'll send it up. He's got a man wide open and in and out of the hands. He couldn't hold on to it, number 11, but a penalty flag down on the far side of the field.
as uh, Dayton Roth had nothing but green in front of him. He makes that catch. He's looking at a touchdown. But a penalty flag would have negated it anyways. We're looking to see what the call is. As they're talking to head coach for the Jaguars to get his decision. Holding is the call against the Cougars. They're going to decline the penalty. It's going to bring out fourth down now for the Cougars. So they got the ball at about the 39, 38-yard line of the Jaguars. Fourth down. Pitches at number 11. Looks to turn the corner. And he'll get it turned. Will he get the first down? It looks like he does. And he will. They'll spot him, looks like, at about the 32-yard line. As Dayton Roth on the pitch play goes to the far side and finds very little space, but he finds it. And the Cougars keep the drive alive here. First down. That's going to end our third quarter of play with our score 14 for the New Braunfels Junior Cougars, zero for the Live Oak Jaguars. Keep it here. We'll be back here on Typhoon Radio. More coverage coming your way. All-Star. All-Star. All-Star Inflatables, a premier custom manufacturer of cold air inflatables. And they know what big-time Texas football is all about. They specialize in team spirit tunnels, inflatable helmets, mascots, bounce houses, and much, much more. They also do repairs. No job is too big or too small for All-Star Inflatables. With over 35 years of combined experience, their goal is to create, design, and manufacture top quality inflatables at affordable prices. All-Star Inflatables is proud to manufacture 100% in Texas, 100% made in the USA. All-Star Inflatables is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association. Typha organizations, let them know you're with Typha and get 10% off. See their ad at typha.com and check them out at www.allstarinflatables.com. That's all-starinflatables.com. Or call their sales department at 888-349-4386. Or email them at sales at allstarinflatables.com. All-Star Inflatables. And welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter, Zertucci, or correction, uh, Hudzik with the carry. He'll get about two yards on the play. It brings up second down. Under center, uh, high formation are the Cougars. Now they'll shift into a single back set, takes a snap. Quarterback looking to roll out and pass. It's caught. Hudzik with the pass. He'll go to the far side. He's got an opening. And he'll get taken down at about the 10-yard line. 21 on the catch and run, Brendan Hudzik. Stop by number five for the Jaguars, that's Jeremiah Ellis. And that's gonna be good for our first down for the Cougars, it should be first and goal. Takes a snap, rolls out. Quarterback keeper looking for an opening. Cuts inside, a nice dive forward into about the five yard line. And how is it a touchdown? How's it a touchdown? We're on the five yard line. That's not a touchdown. It's not a touchdown. Yeah, you gotta correct yourself. 